As midnight approaches in the city's hottest hot spots, as the bass from the speakers rattles your bones and pounds your ears, a single cool, watchful eye looks over it all. It is the eye of Peter Gation, the Lord of Late Night. Peter Gation was an impresario. There was a magical quality associated to everything he did, because everything he did was huge. Everything he did seemed completely unsustainable. He had balls. You know, it ain't easy opening a nightclub. Going for four, that's a cowboy. He went for the four biggest places in the block, hired everybody that was cool, and he tried to run an empire. The music is going to be loud and the dancing hot. In a special report, meet the mystery man who rules New York's nightclub scene. The club owners of the good clubs, Steve Rebell at Studio 54, Eric Good at Area, these were genuine party people who loved being there. They loved the attention, they loved the, the fabulousness, they hosted their own clubs, they gave away drinks, they were part of the festivities. That wasn't Peter. His profile was lower than the limbo dancers. He was just this shadowy figure who would occasionally show up and the moment he showed up everyone would get anxious because he was the boss. I told him, I said, people think that you are in your office counting shekels and laughing at people and profiting from everybody else's fabulosity and they resent you for it. You have to go out and make it look like you're having a good time and I would have to literally drag him into, onto the dance floor and prop him up somewhere. To Gation, the party life is his business. A business which involves 16-hour days, six days a week. There had to be at least so many departments and then sub-departments within those departments. You would have the general managers of each of the clubs, bartenders, busboys, security. Then you'd have the accounting staff, the art staff, the people that design the invites. Then you'd have promoters. I mean, you're talking four clubs here, you're talking a total of 20 nights, so you're talking a total of 55 groups of promoters because it takes more than one promoter to do it any given night. A place like Palladium or Limelight, you, you, you got different rooms. Sometimes you would have different parties in different rooms. So you could have three invites per club, per night, that all has to be designed, put together, disseminated. You really have to be a legitimate, hard working person to survive in the business. It's not a, uh, it's not a, it's not a picnic, it's not a party, it's a very serious business. In Manhattan, where million dollar clubs are hot for a month or two and then often fold, Gation has known more than a decade of huge success. Did we own the city's nightlife? We owned it. We were the leaders in nightlife, not just in New York City, but in the world.